everybody, this is Stephen and Frederick, and this is How I Cook. On last week's episode, I showed you how to roast a chicken. Well, this week, I'm going to show you something you can do with that roasted chicken breast. And I'm going to show you how to make artichokes. These are artichokes. Do not be intimidated. They're extremely easy to make and very tasty to eat. We're going to start with this because they take a little time to cook, not to prep. So these are your two artichokes. We're just gonna cut the bottoms off, the stems. We're gonna cut off a little of the top. And I'm gonna run them under the water really well to rinse them. So I just rinsed these two artichokes let the water run in them, dump, water, dump, five, six times. That's all you need to do. This is a food steamer. You're going to put the two artichokes in, put the lid on, and turn on for one hour. There, we're done. That's all we have to do to cook the artichokes. What are we going to do next? We're going to make some chicken salad with that chicken breast we roasted. Okay, so we're going to be making chicken salad. Here's the chicken breast we're going to be using. But before we do anything with this, I want to roast a few pecans. I'm going to be serving roasted pecans on top of the chicken salad. So, here's some pecans, pecan pieces that I put in a frying pan. I'm going to turn this on to medium heat. And we're just going to heat them a little to bring out the oils and the aroma. For past episodes, you know, I say I don't like to tend to things. I could have thrown this just in the oven, let it sit for five to 10 minutes, but that seemed like a lot of work and waste energy to heat the whole oven. So I'm just going to be doing this in a frying pan but you must tend to it. Do not walk away from your pecans. Okay, so it's medium heat. I'm just gonna move them around until I see them getting a little browner. Yes, they are brown, they will get browner. And you will start to smell them. You'll smell the oils. I really like pecans, or some people say pecans. Can you do this with walnuts? Yep. Can you do this with almonds? Yep. Do you have to use nuts on top of your chicken salad? Nope. Dry frying pan. There's no oil in there, no butter, no cooking spray. Dry frying pan. Err on the side of not cooking them enough. You don't want burnt pecans, walnuts, almonds. Nuts become very bitter when they're burned. Whoop. Run away, nuts. I get to eat the runaways. All right, that last one, they're done. Okay, I'm going to keep them in the warm pan. I'm going to take them off the heat. So here are our toasted pecans. I'm just going to put them aside for now. Now we're going to make chicken salad. But the last thing I'm going to add is the chicken. I'm going to make everything else that's going into the chicken salad first. In a bowl, I'm going to put some mayonnaise. Two heaping, two and a half things of mayo. Start smaller, you can always add more. Celery. This is already pre-chopped celery from the supermarket. I don't use a lot of celery, so I don't want to buy a lot of celery. There's stalks and not be able to use them. I'll incorporate these pieces into other stuff. So quite a bit of celery. Some salt. I'm not using my normal mixture of salt, pepper, and rosemary. I don't want rosemary in this. Some 
pepper. And some turmeric. I really like turmeric. I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't have really that much of a smell. I think I used it in a previous episode when I made deviled eggs. So a little bit of turmeric. It makes it a pretty yellow color too. And then an onion. Not a full onion. This is a sweet onion. I recommend either a sweet onion or a yellow onion. Can you use red onion? Sure. But a red onion tends to have a really strong taste. I want the chicken to be the star of the chicken salad. So the accompanying flavors, I don't want them to be overpowering. Okay. So the onion now goes into the bowl. I'm going to mix together the mayonnaise, celery, turmeric, salt, pepper, and onion. Okay, there we have it. Can you put other flavors in there? Would you like garlic? Sure. Would you like to put onion powder? Sure. Whatever flavors you want and you like with your chicken salad, put it in there. Now to the chicken. So we have our chicken breast here. It's cooled. This is the chicken skin. You're going to take it off and you can either eat it or I can give it to the dogs. I think you know what I'm gonna be doing in this house. So here's the chicken breast. You can run your fingers along the bones and try to get the chicken breast out. These are like the chicken tenders. We wanna get those out. We want to get most of the meat out. I will put this aside and any of the extra I'll give to the girls later. I'm just going to chunk up the chicken. You don't want it to be too big. You don't want it to be too small. It's bite, bite size. Can you do this with the rotisserie chicken from the supermarket? Absolutely. Have I done it? Absolutely. Is homemade better? Absolutely. I've eaten the rotisserie chickens from the supermarket or Costco, and I will eat them again, but I really think they have a very soft texture. Um, I don't know if they treat them with chemicals or whatever it is, but if you have the time and the inclination, make your own chicken breast and make chicken salad. I think this is a good weekend lunch thing. Serve chicken salad with artichokes, especially as it gets warmer. Um, but you can serve it anytime, serve it at night, the weekend, whenever. So the chicken was put in the bowl, going to mix it with all the other ingredients. And that looks pretty good. I'm not going to put the pecans in the chicken salad. I don't want them to get soggy or mushy. We're gonna sprinkle these on top when we serve it. Can you put raisins in here? Sure. Can you put craisins in here? Sure. Can you put grapes in here? Sure. You do you. Remember, this is how I cook. Not the right way, not the way you should do it. It's the way I cook. So I think this is pretty good. However, we have to try it. Good. I would like additional salt in here but I re like really salty food. 
I can always do that when I do it on the plate. So for now, I think this is good. The right amount of celery and onion, salt and pepper, turmeric. So this is all good. For now, I'm just going to put this in the refrigerator while the artichokes continue to cook. Be back in a little with the next portion. Okay, so it's been about an hour and the artichokes are done. Be careful when you take the lid off, steam is hot. We're gonna take the artichokes out of the steamer, put them on a plate and let them cool a little. I like to press down, it opens them up, lets the steam out. So, how are we gonna eat these? Well, the nice thing is, I like to eat them dipped in butter. So, a half a stick of butter, which you think is a lot, but it's for two people. Some tarragon, tarragon leaves. It has a very mild licorice flavor, which I really like. Um, I'm not a big licorice fan, but I really do like tarragon. And some lemon juice. And into the microwave, let's say 30 to 40 seconds. Okay, so the tarragon, lemon, and butter are mixed together. These are little. Pyrex bowls, pouring a little, about 50% and 50% into each. And there you have it. So you're thinking, how do I eat that? A lot of people haven't had artichokes, except an artichoke dip or something like that. Really easy. You take an artichoke leaf, dip it, Pull it. Artichoke leaf. Leaf. Dip it. Scrape it. Really delicious, really good. Let me get the leaves off of one of these and I'll show you how to eat the choke. Okay, so I took the outer leaves off and what I would normally do is I would eat them. Pull, dip, eat. Pull, dip, eat. When you get down to this part, you take these flowers or these leaves out. And if I do it right, this is hot. You pull and it all comes. Now, you can see this. This looks like hair. This part is not edible. So what you do is you take a spoon and you take this part out. Okay. So, this is the choke of the artichoke. This is the part when you're eating artichoke dip or anything with artichoke in it. This is the part that they cut up and they use in the recipe. It's really delicious. But, it's the little nugget of gold at the end. So you just take a little piece, you dip it in the butter like you did the leaves. Mmm, delicious. So we've addressed the artichoke. Now I've put some bib lettuce on the plate. You don't have to put lettuce on the plate or you could put iceberg, you could put romaine, you could put a uh, salad mix from a bag, whatever you wanna do. But I put that there. I'm putting some of the chicken salad there. And we can't forget our toasted pecans. The pecans add a nice crunch, a nice little different flavor. And look at that, chicken salad and artichoke. I hope you enjoyed this episode of How I Cook. No cocktail this week. 
but watch last week's episode because a rosé spritzer would go great with this. Okay, have a great week. See you later.